Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for July 11th to the 17th. As you'll notice, I am not in my Brooklyn apartment. I'm on a little road trip going to see my family in Atlanta. So I'm at a hotel in um, Raleigh, Durham. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is for Sagittarius Sun in Rising. And while I do a general uh, Celtic cross spread, I use astrology and my guides just to get a lot more clarity and to get more specific to, for you in terms of your reading. Now, um, I'm also going off my laptop here, so I'm going to make sure that all the settings are okay. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, Sagittarius, this is going to be a great week, all right? We already know that Jupiter is in Aries, which is your fifth house of love. Love, creativity, family. I love that. There's a lot of luck there. There's a lot of prosperity and growth there. You're going to feel a lot of that this summer, all right? Now, the other thing is uh, I'm going to mention that full moon. I can't do this reading without mentioning that full moon in Capricorn, okay? That's going to happen on Wednesday, all right? Now, that full moon in Capricorn, it exposes a lot. Now, Sagittarius... You know where that falls, your second house of earned income. They're talking about money. We're talking about salary, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, here's the kicker, and here's the thing that you may love, okay? The day before, we're talking tomorrow, if you're watching this on Monday, we're talking about uh, July 12th, Venus is trining Saturn, okay? Now, I'm not gonna get into the specifics. I left all the key dates in the description, but. All I'm saying is that's a really good day to initiate long-term commitments, all right? Now, that brings us to the theme of the week, and the theme of the week is raise a glass, all right? New beginnings. It's all about new beginnings, and I love this energy for you, Sagittarius. Sun and rising, listen, I love what's happening in your chart. I love what's happening for y'all. I absolutely adore it. Now, um, we could also see some activity uh, with other people's money too, but there could be some, uh, I feel like there's going to be um, an end to some things in your life right now, beginning of something new. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with your reading. I've given this a really good shuffle and let's go for it, Sagittarius. Sun and rising for July 11th to the 17th. Now, as I mentioned, I do the traditional Celtic cross spread. This is what my private clients prefer. If you do want to get a private reading with me, you know where to find me. Secondly, Sagittarius, if you are new to my channel, it would be really great if you like and subscribe. Uh, it really does help my channel grow and I would really appreciate it. Now, if you are a subscriber, I want to spend this time thanking you. I really appreciate it and I want you to know that I'm very grateful and love that you're here with me every week. It's really, I love your comments. Y'all inspire me and I love y'all. I, you know, whether you subscribe or not, I love every Sagittarius. Y'all are so fun. Now, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. I'm gonna pull up the cards um, one by one because, uh, well, that's what I do already, but um, with the setup here in my hotel room, you may not be able to see the full uh, spread here, but you can see the heart of what's going on here and we love it, okay, Sagittarius? This is going to be a great week, okay? When I say this is gonna be a great week, I want you to know it's gonna be a great week, first of all. You got the lover's card, we love the lover's card, right? All right, this is big Gemini energy, so uh, I'm gonna talk about that later, but first, listen, this came up in your past area, so a lot of Sagittarians could have fallen in love, all right? This is explosive love, all right? This is so, so beautiful, all right? Two becoming one. This is almost like what, like a twin flame, soulmate, that type of energy, okay? And listen, a lot of Sagittarians, if you met someone new, could be the one, especially with that full moon in Capricorn, Venus, trining Saturn, all right? Could be the one. Secondly, if you're already in a relationship, you could have taken it to another level. You could have gotten a proposal. You could have gotten engaged. You could have gotten married, renewed vows, whatever it is. I love it. Now, if you're not here for love, Sagittarius, this also applies to career. You could have gotten a new job that you love, okay? You could have gotten a new boss that you love. There's a lot of great energy around love here. Now, one last thing I'm going to point out, okay? 
well, two things. One, you can see Archangel Raphael here, all right? So this is, and you can see there's like so many biblical references in this card. I'm not even gonna like whatever, but here's the thing. You can see him looking at her. She's looking at the Archangel here. This is subconscious, self-conscious, superconscious. This is Trinity at play. Ah, this is really good for the soul. I love that. Getting in touch with that spiritual side. But also, remember I mentioned Gemini, the twin, right? So here's the other thing. Um, Y'all could have made a choice about uh, moving forward with a certain relationship, okay? Uh, and again, whether love or career, all right? I'm weirdly getting... Um, in energy around family some of y'all sagittarians could have had um maybe you didn't have a really good relationship let's say with your brother or your sister or your mom and it could have come to you know you could have patched things up things have could have gotten a little better now this is really great i love where that's taking us because look at where it is king of cups all right so this is the heart of your spread i love this all right this is beautiful energy he's on top of his emotions Honestly, listen, he's the king, all right? Cups, emotions, emotional stability, all right? Look at his throne. It is literally on top of water. That's how emotionally stable he is. This is really amazing. I love this for you, all right? We're getting that feeling of just all your emotions. Feel you like you feel steady and ready, okay? You feel really, really good. Now, Sagittarians here for love, Listen, sex is going to be great this week, all right? I'm not going to lie about that, all right? It's always, I, you know, I do have younger viewers, so I don't want to always get too much into that. But listen, you also got the Knight of Swords. So here's the thing. The Knight of Swords came up in your challenge area. So one thing I want you to just keep in mind, bear in mind, and I'm not getting a huge energy. My body reacts to certain cards in certain positions. I'm not getting an energy that this is something that it's like, oh no, watch out. This is really, look at the knight. Knights are really fiery, right? Sort of uh, the mental suit, okay? So this is sort of like, you're ready to go. Your mind is really active. It's all, so listen, I want you to do something here. I don't want you to be impulsive with your decisions. I don't want you to be impulsive with your, um, I don't want you to do things that fall out of line with how you feel emotionally, if that makes any sense. If there is one drawback with the Knight of Swords, he is really impulsive, all right? He's really fiery, okay? Now, that is the only one thing that I want to let y'all know is just, don't trip up, okay? You're in a good space and you're even going into a better space, all right? But before we even get there, you pull the Eight of Pentacles, all right? This is a very active card and the Eight of Pentacles, look at him, working really hard, very diligent. You know it's Sagittarius. You've been really working really hard. Now, when I say working really hard, sure, career, bringing in that money, all right? Money on your mind, Do, being, putting all your energy, effort into building like look at him hammering away at the coins right repetition doing the things that you know to get that money all right again and again and again but you know this is starting to build your legacy okay i don't know if you can see here i'm not wearing my glasses but um you can see in the background that's the castle all right for the ten of pentacles you're so close and that's where you want to be this came up in your crown so keep at it sagittarius you're doing a great job. You're doing a really great job, especially because you pull the Six of Swords in the root of your spread. Now, fun tidbit for you. I don't know if that's a real fun tidbit. Does that make sense? Anyway, fun little trivia for you is my site is called The Tarot Ship, inspired by the Six of Swords because they're moving out of turbulent waters into a better place. So. I love that because deep down inside, you do want to move forward in this, like the promised land. All right, Sagittarius, not even going to lie about it. That's really good. Also, remember I said that that full moon is going to be in your second house of earned income. It's already on your mind. All right. It's already on your mind making that money. All right. Every time I see this card, I now think of that uh, money don't jiggle jiggle. You know what I mean? Like it flows. All right. So I don't even know if that should be like your mantra, but 
know that there is going to be a lot of activity in your earned income because of your hard work, because of your diligence and your focus and your will to make it move, uh, go forward in terms of getting what you want and living in that castle. Now, again, deep down inside, you want to uh, move away from anything that was like turbulent in your uh, work area, even family, okay? Even family. This is literally just moving away from anything that was holding you back. Sometimes we have to force ourselves to, um, or sometimes the universe forces us to move forward, all right? So either way, you're thinking about it like deep down inside, there's better things out there. Again, the one thing I want you, don't be impulsive the way that you think, okay? The way that you think. I don't want you to be impulsive charging forward. I want you to be emotionally stable. One thing that I'm gonna point out with this card as well, because remember what I said about the Knight of Swords, but with this card as well, you can see the swords are in the boat, all right? I don't want you to bring any emotional baggage moving forward, all right? I want you to leave all that behind because look, you got the Page of Wands, all right? I love the Page of Wands. I don't know how many times I say this in my um, thing, but when he comes up, man, I love him. He is a total dreamer. Look at him looking at the wands, all right? Sprouting, they're already sprouting. He's so compelled by it. He loves it. He's the dreamer of the, um, not of all the tarot cards, right? So listen, this is newness, all right, Page. Not yet a knight, not yet a queen, not yet a king. This is new energy coming in in terms of work, in terms of career, okay? That's what Wands is. It's enterprise, all right? But it's also creativity. Remember I said he's a dreamer. Imagination. If you're working on a book, if you're in a uh, job where you have to be a little bit more imaginative, I mean, listen, that energy is coming through. And if you're even not it's coming through, okay? This doesn't always relate to work too. I'm getting a get very big energy. Um, I think I said something about family earlier. I'm still getting that here. So it could also be some sort of new beginning with your family, all right? I love that for you, Sagittarius, okay? Because there is a lot of activity there with Jupiter and Aries, but a lot of really good. And here's the thing, it's very transformative energy too. You can see that he's the only one out of the pages that's wearing the tunic with the salamanders on it. Salamanders representing transformation, okay? So again, this is really good. I love the direction it's going. Really, really love it, okay? Everything is lining up in the way that it should for you, okay? New beginnings, remember, raise a glass. Now, Sagittarius, let's get to your staff. So, Sagittarius, listen, you are going to be very happy here. There's a lot, oh my gosh. You have your eyes on the prize, don't you? Wow, wow, Sagittarius. Not gonna lie, let's see. First of all, you got the two of ones. So if there's any advice I have for you right now, other than what I've given you already, if there's anything I wanna tell you is that the two of ones, listen, he's planning, sure. He sees what's out there. He's got the world in his hand. You can see that, all right? The only problem is he's planning, all right? And he's not yet going. That's the one thing about the two of wands is they're still a little on the fence. They're still ambivalent, all right? You see he has one foot in the castle, one foot out. There's one wand in, one wand out. Make that decision and move forward. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't let anything hold you back. You're moving forward. Just continue, okay? Just continue. You know why? Look at what is waiting for you at the end of the road. You got the Ace of Pentacles. What did I say about money? What did I say about money? Around that full moon, all right, on Wednesday, around that full moon, all right, there is going to be something that starts blossoming. The, this is the universe. Look, the Ace is the biggest minor arcana to usher in new change, all right? Pentacles, all about money, all about wealth, like this is money 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 coming out of nowhere coming out of nowhere i love it for you now listen one analogy i'm gonna make because i do get a lot of questions in terms of timing now with my personal readings of course i do a bunch of clarifiers and i do all the timing cards and i do all that but um i try to try keep these readings short 
my analogy for you Sagittarius and if you have questions about when is this going to happen well this is the week okay where things uh, even behind the scenes could start happening now for some Sagittarians you might not see something happen right away you might see something happen at the end of the week I the analogy I'm gonna wake make and more Millennials and Gen X or Gen Zers are gonna get this but imagine being at a nightclub all right imagine being at an EDM concert okay you know that DJ is gonna drop that beat you know he's gonna drop that beat you just don't know when it is but it's going to be in that concert okay so know that it's coming things are working behind the scenes okay so the fact that you pulled the ace of pentacles in your external factors area mwah, chef's kiss i always feel weird when i do that so if that looks funny then i you know i'm gonna think of something else to do now listen here's the thing the reason why i know you have your eyes on the prize you pulled the six of ones we love the six of ones all about victory all about success all about public recognition all about getting that like everyone just noticing how hard you work the legacy you're building these new ideas this newness coming through into your life listen this is you you want it let's put it that way you want it you want it bad all right and you know what Sagittarius you deserve it you and I go a way long way back all right I've been doing your readings for a long time and there I have a lot of close Sagittarians in my life listen the second page that you got so when I say raise a glass because this is a week for new beginnings for you I'm telling you to raise a glass and I want you to fill that glass up with whatever your favorite beverage is and I want you to I wanted you to shoot it back all right well don't do that but listen I really do want you to toast because look page of Pentacles came up in your final outcome area okay now we already talked about the page of wands all right new energy in terms of enterprise work career okay also creativity imagination things are coming through this was in your future area the final outcome area you got the page of Pentacles all right what did I talk about Pentacles were money 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 final outcome all right and external factors okay something new look at all or sorry <laughs> something new look at all the yellow all right i love that it's all like newness all that fresh energy i love that i love that okay this is really great this is also a beautiful you could get a message too you could get a message soon about money um i wouldn't be surprised especially because sagittarius like i know i did say we have that full moon capricorn in your second house of earned income but i didn't mention that you know uh, uh, the Sun in Cancer right Mercury in Cancer Mercury's the messenger all in your eighth house okay other people's money shared money that could be uh, what it could be your husband wife partner uh, someone in your household getting a raise or getting a new job or getting a promotion or it could be you with investments or you starting um, a side hustle or a bone of getting a bonus or you know triple the commissions this week listen this is whatever it is it is money related and it's coming through and it feels very new and has that new energy so Sagittarius this is a week of money I see a lot of green I see a lot of dollar signs dollar signs and euros and liras do those still exist anyway I see a lot of dollar signs and I'm not talking about dollar bills I'm talking about like money 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 all right so money jiggle jiggle you know the song this is great I love this being emotionally stable I love that you've got this Sagittarius this you're gonna own this week you're gonna own this week and I love it okay all this money coming through I'm jealous okay Sagittarius I love you so much all right I'll see you next week next week is also another big week and remember that I put all the descriptions for key dates uh, or all the key dates in my description if you want to follow along with the astrology it's all there you can look at all the aspects um, also if you have not subscribed it would be great if you like and subscribe it really does help my channel grow and to every Sagittarius out there I love you so much have a great day bye bye